सीक्वेंस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट एग्जीक्यूशन बाय डीएफसीसीआईएल सेक्शन 20 ए सेंटर गवर्नमेंट थ्रू गजेट नोटिफिकेशन मेड अ डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ इट्स इंटेंशन टू एक्वायर लैंड सेक्शन 20 बी अंडर दिस सेक्शन जॉइंट मेजरमेंट सर्वे ऑफ द लैंड अंडर एक्विजिशन वाज डन जॉइंटली बाय डीएफसीसीआईएल एंड रेवेन्यू ऑफिशियल्स सेक्शन 20 ई The 20E notification contains the details of land such as village name, khasra number, area of acquisition and ownership details. Section 20F The competent authority shall make an award of land under this section within a period of 1 year from the date of publication of 20E notification. After disbursement of payment to project affected people land is handed over to railways for construction the site where embankment has to be constructed the preparation of right of way starts with clearing and grubbing grubbing involves removal of tree shrubs and stones after clearing provides leveled and flat workable area for construction of embankment Marking of toe lines is done to mark the area of construction. Rolling by vibratory roller is being done for flat and solid ground before commencement of work. Borrow area is identified by nearby the construction area for excavating soil. Soil test should be done for approval of borrow's area. Soil from approved area is dumped between toe lines by the dumpers. Layering of soil is done by grader in layers for 250 mm thick. Soil is evenly spread on the construction area between toe lines. Simultaneously, structure work is being done. with rebar cage fixing for raft foundation concrete pouring for raft foundation rebar fixing for walls concrete pouring for walls staging and decking for top slab rebar fixing for top slab concrete pouring for top slab and resulting into completion of structure addition of water for achieving optimum moisture content is being done by water tanker and this process will be followed also for subgrade and blanket layers for achieving field dry density compaction is being done by vibratory roller test conducted for checking compaction of each layer of embankment is being done by nuclear density gauge After achieving desired height of embankment subgrade is being laid over embankment in layers Construction process of subgrade layer is similar as construction process of embankment Total thickness of subgrade is 1 meter blanket layer is being laid in layer of 200 mm thick over subgrade and total thickness of blanket is 600 mm blanket is manufactured material which is prepared in a pug mill on omc 
Construction process of blanket layer is similar as construction process of subgrade and embankment. Test conducted for checking compaction of each layer of blanket is being done by sand replacement method. Relative compaction must be achieved for each layer. Embankment 97% of maximum dry density. Subgrade 98% of maximum dry density. And blanket 100% of maximum dry density. After completion of embankment, subgrade, and blanket, the formation is ready to receive ballast layer. Initial layer of 150 mm thick ballast is being evenly being spread by grader. Sleeper and rails are being placed by NTC machine. Rails welding work is being done by FWB welding machine. Center to center distance between two tracks is 6 meter. Remaining layers of ballast are dumped to the track. A tempting machine compacts the ballast into a tight fit with the track and sleeper. Foundation of OHE mast is made on the blanket level. After mast erection, super mast with insulator is erected and stringing or laying of feeder wires. AEC and BEC are being done by using utility vehicle. After fitting of cantilever assembly on mast, catenary and contact wiring is being done by using wiring train and other associated work like proper termination by ATD, drop ring and clipping and bracket adjustment as per SED are done. Final inspection of OHE is done via tar wagon. Signaling work is also being done simultaneously. Now the track is ready for commissioning and train is moving on the track.